So far in this chapter, all we've really done is had the basic definition for the six trigonometric functions. Everything else has been just working with that, including these identities. Now, in this section, we want to do a little bit more with the identities just so we get more practice with them. Our first problem, we want to write tangent theta in terms of cosine theta only. It turns out that we can write any trigonometric function in terms of an expression that has only whatever other trigonometric function we want in it. So let's write tangent theta in terms of cosine theta only. So I'll start by using this identity. Tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. Now that's my basic ratio identity for tangent theta. I want to get everything in terms of cosine theta only, so I'm going to change my sine theta into an expression that involves only cosine. And for that, let me write it down here, I'll use my Pythagorean identity that says that sine theta is plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine theta squared, all divided by cosine theta. So this is an expression for tangent theta that involves only the cosine of theta. Tangent theta is plus or minus square root 1 minus cosine squared theta, all divided by cosine theta. That plus or minus is in the numerator, could go out in front of the whole thing if we want, but that is an expression involving only cosine theta, and that expression is equivalent to tangent theta. Here's our next problem. Let's add sine theta and 1 over cosine theta. So I'm going to start by reviewing a little bit with fractions. This is the fraction sine theta over 1. So I'm going to take sine theta over 1 plus 1 over cosine theta and find the least common denominator, which is cosine theta. So I'll multiply the numerator and denominator of this fraction by cosine theta. That's just the number 1 in the form of cosine theta over cosine theta. Now here I have cosine theta times sine theta plus 1 all divided by cosine theta. So again, this is just practice with working with our identities uh, and doing a little bit of arithmetic with some um, uh, expressions that involve sine theta and cosine theta. So I can add these two expressions right here just like I add fractions, sine theta over 1, 1 over cosine theta, least common denominator is cosine theta. I change to equivalent fractions, add numerators, put the result over that least common denominator. Let's try another problem. This time I want to prove that cosine theta times tangent theta is always equal to sine theta. So I'm going to start with my left side right here and turn it into the right side. So I'm going to start by saying cosine theta, tangent theta, is equal to, I just look for something that's going to give me an expression that may simplify into sine theta. So cosine theta times, well, I know tangent theta is sine theta over cosine theta. So let's write this as cosine theta times sine theta over cosine theta. Now I see that I have cosine theta in the numerator here, and in the denominator here, I'll divide out that common factor and the result is just sine theta. So I've succeeded in taking my left side and turning it into my right side just using my basic identities right here and a little bit of algebra, and I've showed that cosine theta times tangent theta is equivalent to sine theta. Let's try another one. Sine theta divided by cosecant theta is equal to sine squared theta. So again, I'll start with my left side. Sine theta divided by cosecant theta is equal to sine theta divided by, well, cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta because cosecant and sine are reciprocals. So I'll just use a reciprocal identity to rewrite cosecant theta as 1 over sine theta. Now, to divide by 1 over sine theta, I multiply by its reciprocal, so I end up with sine theta, that's what I have in the numerator, times sine theta over 1. Sine theta times sine theta is sine squared theta. All divided by 1 is the same as sine squared theta. So again, I started with my left side right here, replaced cosecant theta with an equivalent expression, 1 over sine theta, using a reciprocal identity, performed a little bit of algebra right here, and I've succeeded in showing that this expression is equivalent to this expression. 
So again, just a little more practice with the identities that come from our definition one for the six trigonometric functions.